Hi guys, it's Dawn Marie with Custom Comfy Crochet and I was going through some of my videos today and I saw that my beginner video for my crochet um, page um, that was showing people how to uh, crochet for beginners was so blurry that you couldn't see it. So I'm really hoping that this video will come out better. Um, I didn't really do any announcements for this so I'm not surprised that there's no one on here. Um, plus it's like uh, 1230. <laughs> on um, a Thursday so um, yeah so I just wanted to um, make this video to kind of fix, fix the last one that maybe it's so so bad so anyways I'm just going to go over some of the things that we went through in the last video um, and if you're watching and you see that it's blurry or you know buffering extremely bad please let me know um, so that I can cut it off and start again so at any rate so today we're going to learn how to hold our hook and hold our yarn we're going to learn how to do a slip knot we're going to learn how to do a single crochet how to chain how to double crochet and how to triple crochet or treble whichever you want to call it so what you're going to do is is you're going to wrap your hook i mean i'm sorry wrap your yarn around your fingers twice just like that and if you notice as I'm wrapping around I'm going over this other piece of yarn okay so I'm going over top of it and then I'm gonna pull through I'm gonna push my hook in and pull through just like that okay, I'm gonna do that again because it was a little bit messed up I'm looking at my camera instead of my yarn okay so you wrap around your fingers twice, you go over that first one, you go under the yarn, pull the yarn through the loop, and then pull down on the bottom to make a loop. And that's how you make a slip knot. Some people also do it just with their fingers. If that makes it easier for you, just go around twice. And then you would pull through just like that. And like I've said before, crochet is just a series of knots. So if you can remember that, it might be helpful. And then that's another way to do a slip knot, just like that. So now I'm going to show you how to, well, we're going to talk about holding your hook and holding your yarn. In the other video I made, you could hear me okay, but you could barely see what I was doing. So I'm just kind of going over those things again. And one thing that I mentioned in that other video, and it's really true, is that I'm going to show you how I hold my hook and yarn but really you're gonna just find something that's comfortable for you um, really you can't teach someone how to hold hook and yarn I mean, and copy what you're doing but eventually they're gonna find something that feels comfortable just for them so the way I hold mine is I literally just wrap it around my index finger and I let the yarn fall just like that so it's just wrapped around so I pick it up with my index finger and that's all that I do just like that so and it's kind of falling against my other fingers so for now if you're just learning how to crochet that may work for you um, and it may not you might find something better I also use this index finger a lot for my tension so um, as I'm going along it helps me be able to make the yarn tight as I pull my finger this way the yarn is tight and as I go down, it becomes loose, as you can see. Also, I hold my hook like this with my two fingers, and then I grasp it with the rest of my hand. But usually when I'm crocheting, I'm kind of holding with these two fingers right here. A lot of people hold further down, or they go further this way. But like I said, whatever you find comfortable, I'm just showing you what I do. Okay, so let's start over again. So we figured out how we're going to hold our yarn and how we're going to hold our hook. So again, we're going to do the slip knot again. And we're just going to go like that and pull through. And if you're just coming on, um, I am redoing. This is a retake of the horrible video that happened with my beginner crochet. Um, so anyway, so now we know how to hold this. We know how to hold our yarn and we're gonna what we're gonna do now is we're gonna chain 
So I'm going to chain, I'm going to start by chaining 10. So what I'm going to do to chain, okay, you've got this piece hanging down, you've got your slip knot, and you've got your loop, okay? We're going to be working into this loop. And to do that, you're going to pull yarn just like this through the loop. And again, through the loop. And again, through the loop, and that's three. And again, through the loop, that's four. And five. And six. And seven. And eight. And nine. And ten. Notice the way that I'm holding the chain as I'm going along. A lot of times when you're starting off with projects, what you're doing is so small, like when you're chaining or you're single crocheting or you're starting the base for a project that oftentimes will be included in a pattern or a video. Um, it's so flimsy that you need to kind of hold it. So that's what I'm doing. I'm holding it. And um, I have a cat in the video here. <laughs> so let me move the cat. Um, so we've chained up 10 and I've showed you how to chain. We know how to slip knot. We know how to hold our yarn. We know how to hold our hook now. And so now I want to give you a little, a little thing here. As I said in my other video, I've taught a lot a lot of people have crochet or try to teach people. I've even taught my son how to chain and I've taught my daughter how to do several stitches. They're not great at it. Maybe they'll pick it back up one day. But one thing that I noticed that's hard for everyone, including myself when you first start crocheting, is it's all about the tension. If I am holding my yarn super tight, however I hold it, if I wrap it around two fingers or whatever I do, if I'm holding it too tight, then I can't watch what happens. I can't get through the hole. Or when I finally do get through there, it just doesn't look right. It looks really small. Sometimes the strings will come undone. Um, and so then you run into problems like that. But mostly, you're just holding it so tight that you can't even get it through. And you just create kind of a mess and you kind of want to give up. So I'll ask you to pretend like you're meditating or you're doing yoga or something and you're just really finding a relaxing time for yourself to just, so just be loosey goosey um, when you're crocheting. Not too loose, but a little just loose. So you're just calm. You're just going through like this calmly. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Also, if I go really loose with my yarn. A lot of people will do this when they're starting out and um, and maybe for you it works. I really want you to though to just over and over again chain um, and just keep chaining until you get stitches that you feel comfortable with, that you think look good, that you feel good about because let's say I start doing it really loose. So I've got this pulled up, I've got this slack and I just start you know just really loosely going through like this. Okay, I want you to see the difference. You see the difference when I started going really loose versus really tight. Now there are some patterns and, and videos that will actually um, ask you to do loose uh, stitches and, th and that's fine. But when you're first starting out and you're wanting to get a good feel of crochet, this can kind of get a little bit hard to work into. And I've seen people go even looser. You know, so you're just, you know, then it just looks like that. And it just is hard because then you're having trouble. Is that a stitch? What is that? Is that one? Are these, you know, so it becomes confusing. So I think that's why it's best to just try to find the best tension that you can um, when you're first starting out there. So I've gone back down to my 15. So we've got a chain of 15 here. And this is what I want to teach you too. That was it, this was hard for me. And actually, I crocheted for a long time before I found out the rules of turning your work. When you're making a scarf, when you're making a blanket, when you're doing anything like that, with the flowers that we're doing, um, you don't deal with this so much. And that's why I loved doing them. And I thought they would be a lot of fun, especially for people who are beginners. Um, but at any rate, when you turn your work, okay, because we've done our chain, now we're going to start what they would call our first row. Okay, you oftentimes would say, okay, well, I should go into here 
because that's my first loop. But no, because look, that's where your, your loop is coming out of. So you don't want to go into that. Do not want to go into that. And you don't want to go into the next one either. Um, because you're single crocheting. And so that's going to count here. So you want to go into this next one right here. And this is how you're going to single crochet. You're going to go through that loop. You're going to pull up some yarn. You're going to go through again. And you're going to go through the two that are now on your hook. Just like that. And you'll go to your next chain there. You'll go through with your hook, pick up some yarn, come through. You've got two loops on your hook and you'll go through both. And that is a single crochet. So let's do it again. Go into our next one, pull up some yarn, pull through and go through two on your hook. And you'll just keep going all the way down just like that till you get to the end. And again, if you're watching this um, and you just came on, um, I'm just doing a retake of my beginner crochet video because um, it was not very good at all. I mean, you couldn't even see what I was doing. And I, I really got a lot of messages about people wanting to know how to crochet. So it was important to me that this video was good. So I'm just kind of recapping and going over some of the things that I already showed in that first video that just didn't come through right. So again, we're just going all the way down doing single crochets. I'm going into each and every chain all the way down. All the way down. Single crochets. And now look, now we've come to our last one. As you can see right here, right there you can see that we need to go in there. But some people will see that they've still got this little, where we did our slip knot, they might think that you need to go into that one as well. You do not want to go into your slip knot. That was just our slip knot to get our work started. You just want to go into this last chain here and do a single crochet, just like that, okay? And that's what it looks like. Just a row of single crochets right across and this is how you could do a scarf you could do a whole scarf in just single crochets literally just back and forth back and forth so let's do it again okay let's let's show because we did one row let's do another row of single crochets so you can see what it'll look like okay and then I'll go on and show you a double crochet so to to keep on with single crochets we're going to chain up one just one just like that and then we're going to turn our work. Okay, so we turned it. Now, this is where it can get a tiny bit confusing, but when you're doing single crochets, you wanna go into this first loop right here. It's just a rule. I don't know why it's that way. <laughs> I should know, but I don't know. So when you're doing single crochets and you're going back and forth, I know in the beginning that you skipped that one. But we want to go into this one okay so we single crochet up one and then we do another single crochet we're going to go all the way across doing single crochets again all you're doing is going into each and every stitch or single crochet from the last round and you're just doing one single crochet and each one just like that all the way down again just into oops sorry <clears throat> just into each and every single crochet we're going to do another single crochet Just like that. I'm to stop it. If you're watching this and you've been watching my videos, you know that I've been having a lot of issues and spent a lot of money, money on a new router and had some uh, tech guys come out and try to fix things. Guess what? It didn't work. So they're supposed to be coming out again today. 
So again, we're just going to keep going down. And hopefully, when they come out today, they can fix it. We're just doing single crochets all the way down. Okay, now, this is what it looks like when you get to the end here. Okay? So we're going to go in and do a single crochet here. And if you can look and see, we've got one more we have to do here. And when you're doing single crochets like this, and I would suggest not doing them, because believe it or not, it takes a while um, before you can tell where you need to put something. Um, they do have little, um, little marker tools that you can use to help you if you're doing single crochets to know where you ended and where you began. Um, I've got a paper clip here that'll work kind of the same way. So we could have used one of these, and actually, I'm sorry, I should have, it would have helped. But you could use a paper clip, you can use a piece of yarn, um, whatever you choose to use that will go in there when you're doing single crochets. Um, and this will help you know where you need to go. Um, actually, I'm not going to use a paper clip. I'm going to use a piece of yarn because a lot of people do that. So what you would do is, is as you're going back and forth with your single crochets, to mark where you need to end and where you need to begin, a lot of people will just put a piece of yarn, piece of yarn, right here, and then that way, as you can see, you would know, okay, then I have one more that I need to do, and you can just keep going and moving that as you go along. I hope that makes sense. Um, I'll show you how to do it in the next in the next round too, even though we'll be doing different. But yeah, if you're going to start out single crochets, even though it's an easy stitch, can be difficult to find all the little um, holes that you need. They're not as clear. So, but I knew that I had one more in that one. So let's do our last single crochet. Okay, and that's what it looks like. That's two rounds of single crochets. And as I said, um, you could keep going and going and making a scarf out of this or make baby clothes or whatever you wanted to do. You could do that with single crochets. As I said, it would be helpful to use a marker though. Um, now, to do a double crochet, that's what we're going to move on to now, okay? Excuse me. Let's say I was doing a scarf or something or I wanted to change to double crochet. Now, to double crochet, I'm going to chain up two. One and two. And then remember, I'm sorry, three. To do a double crochet, we're going to chain up three. And then we're going to turn our work, okay? Just like that. Now, for a double crochet, we're not going to go into this first one. We've done three single crochets, I mean three chains, three chains three. and that counts as our first double crochet in this spot right here, in that hole. That counts as our first one. It's the same length as a double crochet, and so therefore it counts as our first double crochet. So now we're going to go into our next loop, and we're going to double crochet. And to do that, okay, you've got your loop on your hook. You're going to yarn over once. You're going to go into that first chain there. Pull through your yarn, go through two, and go through two. Just like that. Okay, and again, yarn over, go into your next single crochet that we had before, pull through the yarn, go through two, go through two, and that is a double crochet. Okay, so we're going to do those all the way down. So I'm going to yarn over, I'm going to go into our next chain here, go through two, Go through two. Again, yarn over, go into our next space there, pull our yarn through. We've got three on our hook. We're going to go through two, and that leaves two, and then go through those two. Okay, and again, yarn over, go into our next stitch, 
chain, whatever, I keep calling it different stuff, doesn't matter. You're going through the next hole. <laughs> you pull up your yarn, you've got three on your hook, you go through two, and go through two. Just like that. And again, and we're just gonna keep going down into each space that's available to us, each single crochet from around from before, and we're gonna do double crochets all the way down. So again, yarn over, into our next single crochet, got three on our hook, go through two, and go through two. And again, yarn over, go through two, go through two. Yarn over, go into our next single crochet, pull the yarn up, go through two, go through two. Again, and again, and And that was our last one there, okay? So now we've done a row of double crochets. Now, in this one, I forgot to show you just a minute ago how to do the marker, okay? And this will help you a lot when you're first starting. Um, they actually sell little markers that you can put in. Um, I have some, instead of hunting them down, I'm just gonna show you how to do it with a piece of yarn because it's cheap and it's easy. So, first thing we're going to do, because in this next round, I'm going to show you how to treble or triple crochet, whichever one you want to call it. We're going to chain up four. One, two, three, and four. And then we're going to turn our work. So we're turning our work. And I actually needed to put that this last one so actually right now I'm not going to show you how to do um, this little thing right here um, I will try to make another video what I'll do is I'll make another video because for what we're doing right now it's really not beneficial to show you um, how to use the markers um, but when um, I'll do another video all about single crocheting and I'll teach you how to use the markers and how to turn your work and everything but for right now let's go on and we're going to teach you I'm going to teach you how to try Okay, so we chained up four and we turn our work and we're not going to go into this first one, remember, okay, because we chained up four and that counts for our trebles. So we're just going to go around our hook twice, just like that. Again, I'm going to show you again. Go around our hook twice, okay, and then you're going to go into that second chain from the first. You're going to pull up and when you pull up, You've got four loops. You're going to go through your first two loops. You're going to go through another set of two loops and another set of two loops. And that makes a treble or triple, whichever you want to call it. So again, you wrap around your hook twice. You go into your very next chain. You pull up your yarn, pull it through just like that. You have four loops on your hook. You go through the first two, you go through the second two, and you go through the third two. Okay, just like that. I'm going to show you again. I'll try to go a little bit slower. Wrap around your hook twice. Go into your next chain. Pull up, and you've got four. You're going to go through these two. That leaves three. Then you're going to go through these two. That leaves two. And then you go through them all, just like that. I just think it's easier to say go through two, go through two, go through two. <laughs> but I wanted to show you how that works there. So again, around your hook twice, into the next space. Go through two. Go through two. Go through two. Just like that. And again, wrap around hook twice. Go into the next, go through two, go through two, go through two. And that's what it looks like, a treble crochet. 
We're just going to keep doing them all the way down. Again, a wrap around your hook twice. Go through your next chain. You've got four. You go through the first two, second two, third two. And hey, you go through three twos and it's a triple. So you go around your hook twice, go into the next loop, the next chain, excuse me. Go through two, go through two, go through two. And then to the next. Go through two, go through two, go through two. And again. Go through two, go through two, go through two. And again. Around the hook twice. You go through two, go through two, go through two. And again. Go through two, go through two, go through two. And we've got two more because you can see now. And this is why I didn't want to use the, um, the little marker right now because when you move on to double and triple crochets, it's very easy to see where you need to go. And that's why I was telling you, actually, while single crochet is such an easy stitch, when you start using it, it is it's hard to see. That's why I was talking about using the marker for the single crochet. Because you see, we can tell, okay, we've got one here and we've got one here. It's very easy to see where you need to go. So we're going to go here, two and two. And this is our last one. And this is what they call the turning stitch. So we're going to work into our turning stitch, our treble crochet. So we're going to go around twice into this last one here. And sometimes they can be a little tricky to get into. Go through two, go through two, go through two. And we've basically made a little square. <laughs> we've got our single crochets, we've got our double crochets, we've got our triple crochets or treble, whichever you prefer to call it. We've learned how to hold our hook and how to hold our yarn. We even learned how to do a slip knot. So I'm going to teach you one more stitch that I did not teach in the last one. I really want to teach you the basics, the, the single, the double, triple, but there's another one that's actually quite common and it's called the half double crochet. Okay, so for a half double crochet, <clears throat> you would chain up two, one and two, two and we're going to have to turn our work, chain up two, we're turning our work. Remember, we're not going to go into this first stitch, okay, and then we're going to go into the second one and what we're going to do is to do a half double crochet is we're going to pull our yarn, wrap around our yarn, go through our next chain there, and we've got three on our hook. Now if we were going to do a double crochet, we know what we do because I just taught you, we'd go through two and go through two. But to do a half double crochet, all you do is simply go through all three on your hook, just like that. And that is a double crochet, I mean a half double crochet. And it is actually one of my favorite stitches. It's so pretty. So again, you would yarn over, go through your next chain, pull up. You've got three on your hook, and you would go through all three. Okay, again, yarn over, go into the next loop, pull up. You've got three, go through all three. And what a beautiful stitch the half double crochet is. And so we go again. Pull it up, go through all three. And we're just going to do this going all the way down. Just half double crocheting all the way down to the end here. So yarn over, go into your next chain, pull up. You've got three on your hook, go through all three. And let me slow that down again. So you yarn over. Go through your loop, pull up your yarn, you've got three, go through all three, and that's a half double crochet. And again, and again, 
And now we can see that we've got two left. So we're going to go to our next one and into this very last one here. And we've half double crocheted all the way across. And that's how you do a half double crochet. Okay. Now I want to show you, even though I do it in most of my videos, since this is a beginner video and it's going to end up on YouTube or maybe someone will come across it on Facebook. Um, and I'm sorry, I've still got gesso all over my hands because I paint. I can't get it off. <laughs> it's so aggravating. But anyways, I'm going to show you how to knot off and how to sew in your ends. Okay, I do it in all my videos, but I'm going to try to do it a little bit slower. And I want to show you how to do it. So I'm going to leave. Let's say I'm working on a project. A lot of people will knot off um, and, you know, you know, if that's what you do and you've been crocheting forever, if that's what you do and you've been crocheting forever and you feel good about it, by all means do what works best for you. But I have learned from personal experience that knotting off will mess up your stuff. I've actually got a blanket that I crocheted many years ago that is now coming undone because I knotted my granny squares instead of sewing in my ends. So, and I knotted them several, several times and thought that it would be fine, and it was not. They came undone. So you want to leave a good piece here when you cut off your project. And what I do is I simply go through just like this, like I was going to do a single crochet, and I pull it all the way through, and I yank on it. <laughs> just like that, okay? You can barely see that, okay? There's some offering. There's some other ways to do it where it looks better or whatever. And, and as we go along, maybe I can show you when we're doing different projects. This kind of thing would not call for that, though. Um, but at any rate, so now what you would do is you would thread your darning needle. Just like you are going to sew. I don't know if you sew or not, but if you don't sew, you're going to just do like that. Okay? You're going to turn your work over and you're going to, the rule is go through three times. Sometimes I do more, sometimes I do less, but I just do it till I'm comfortable. But so you're going to work your, your yarn in the back of your work, just like this. Okay. And I'm going to do three times because that's but I'm going to make sure that I go the other way, too, because that's really going to lock it in. And see, I said I was going to go three times, but I've got all this, so I'm going to do it again just to be sure. So I'm just going to keep working in anywhere I can go, sewing in my ends. And after I've done that and I feel comfortable, you take your yarn and you pull on it just a little bit so that it'll go back in. You don't have any hanging out at all. So you just do just like that and it's all hidden and it's not going to come undone. It's really not, I promise you. So it's worth the extra time to do that. And then just like I just showed you, you would sew in this end as well or whatever project that you're doing, sew in all your ends. And there we go. How great. We've learned how to do a single crochet, a double crochet, a half double crochet, and a triple crochet. And you've also learned how to chain and how to do a slip knot. So I thank you so much for watching. Watching. I hope this video turned out so much better than the last one. And happy crocheting.